To that song, and I got Kuzuri to call. He had a Maka Jehovah name. No man teaches him what to do, no man can teach the law what to do. Welcome, wherever you are watching from, welcome online. I sincerely apologize for missing these two weeks. It wasn't really easy for me, the environment where I am. Within this period, so I was a bit busy that I couldn't come online for this two weeks. This two weeks, so I tender my apology for that. I sincerely apologize because I know there are people that have been waiting to hear from me. Once you log in, type it. That only good things that are permitted to happen to me. Only good things. Only good things that are permitted to happen to me. Once you log in, you type it. Only good things that are permitted to happen to you. Only good things are permitted to happen to you. Only good things are permitted to happen to me as well. Without wasting much time, let's hand over the week to him, to God. Father, we give you thanks. Thank you for the precious week. Thank you for wonderful days. Thank you for preserving us within these two weeks. Thank you for your presence. We magnify your name. It's all about your mercies. We glorify for your preservation, for your goodness, for your compassionness, for your love. Be magnified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Without wasting much time, I I want to pray for you for the new week. I decree, I declare that this week will favor you. Divine open door shall be your portion this week. God will turn every disappointment to be a blessing to you and to your family. I decree, I declare that those that think that they will laugh at you will come back to see you celebrating. I declare your Monday blessed. I declare your Tuesday blessed. I declare your Wednesday blessed. I declare your Thursday blessed. Your Friday is blessed as well. Only good things are permitted to happen to you. Goodies you will see all the days of your life. You will not end halfway. The Spirit will speak for you all the days of your life. It shall be well with you. Congratulations for a new week. In Jesus' name, I bless your week with you. Amen and amen. Without wasting much time, I'll be reading from the book of Luke, 
a place you know very well. I'll be reading from the book of Luke. Luke, Luke, Luke. I'll be reading from the book of Luke, chapter 7. I will read verse 33, 34, and 35. And I read. For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine. And you said, he has a demon. The son of man has come eating and drinking. And you said, look, a glittery and a web of a friend of task collector and a sinner. But wisdom is justified by her children. Mal Libra in the Lebosha. Zanana is called Libra in the Lebosha. Father, we hand over your word to you. Have your way. Tearful supremacy. At last we have reasons to certain. For thou have blessed us indeed with your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. Permit me to speak on a topic that say you can't protect it. You can't protect it. You can't protect it. You can choose the word handover. There are matters you can't pretend over it. You can't protect it. You can as well choose the word handover. I have a question to ask as a topic. Why worry? Permit me to speak on that topic. Why worry? Hand over. You can't protect it. Why much explanation? When I said you can't protect it, I'm trying to tell you that there are things your voice cannot speak about it. It takes grace of the Lord to speak in your behalf. When I said the hand over, I'm trying to tell you there are matters that is not within your reach to settle. It takes God alone to settle such cases for you. And when I say why worry, I'm trying to tell you that your worry cannot stop what men are saying about you. Your worry cannot stop their gossip. Your worry cannot stop their backbiting. Your worry cannot stop their mind. Your worry cannot stop their, 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 their envy. Best thing you will do for yourself is to hand over to God. Is to focus on God. It to, is to stop unnecessary stress trying to protect it. When I say why much explanation. I'm trying to tell you that your explanation can't even convince the world. It takes God to convince the world in a case like this. If you see what we have read from the Bible, Bible said, For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and, and they said, He has a demon. When I'm talking about that, you can't protect it. I'm trying to tell you, God's introduction comes with a lot of things. There are some times when God is about to introduce you, He allowed the gossip to come. There are people that can't hear good aspect of you until they hear the bad aspect of you. There are people it takes the bad aspect of you for them to come close. It takes the bad aspect of you they had for them to start dressing whom you are. In such matter, if it will take such a story for you to be introduced, that simply means you can't protect it. Why worry? I suggest you hand over. So when I'm speaking on a topic that say hand over, I'm trying to allow God to conclude your matter. When I'm speaking on a topic that say hand over, I'm trying to tell you allow God to fight your battles. When I'm speaking on a topic that say hand over, I'm trying to tell you that this thing was not made by you. When I'm trying, when I said hand over, that simply means the destiny was not created by you, and destiny cannot be preserved by you. Destiny cannot be protected by you. When I said hand over, I'm trying to tell you that God knows whom you what you're going to be. He knows whom you are before your birth. He knows whom you are before your conception. He knows what He have made you to be even before the birth. Before you came into existence in that family, grace has already spoken. And that's why grace is still speaking. And, and that's why grace will continue speaking in your behalf. You know, most of the times we try to handle what we can't handle. I beg you, you can't handle that, act, that process of promotion. It takes grace to promote you. You can't handle the mind of men. It takes God to handle their mind. Their mind. Le let me tell you something. There are people that will never believe in you. They will never, never believe in you until God convinces them. And I have a question to ask. If you convince people that is around you, who will convince those that is not around you? Do you know there are people that heard about you today and they spread the news in less than two days? And the people that heard the news from them have already taken the bad news to Abuja, to Lagos, to Sokoto, to Kaduna, to Castina. Let me ask you a question. Can your worry settle a case in Kaduna? Can your worry settle a case in Abuja if you are in Lagos? Can your worry settle a case in Lagos if you are in Omaha? Can your worry settle a case in US if you are in Nigeria? Can your, can your worry settle a case in London if you are in, if you are in Abuja? Can your worry settle a matter in Abu in, in Omaha if you are in if you are in Akoli? I'm trying to tell you that a matter you don't need to worry about. 
because your worry can't settle it. The only thing that worry can offer you is high BP. The only thing that worry can offer you is, is, is severe headache. The only thing worry can offer you sometimes is either high, is, is either high BP or low BP. I'm trying to tell you that I'm not because your worry cannot settle. My question is why worry? My dear, the best thing is to hand over. Much explanation has nothing to do with what God is, is about doing. There are things you don't need to explain. Even if you explain to them, they will never believe you until God speaks. Because Bible says, for I have hardened the, hand, the heart of Pharaoh. You know, had it been that God didn't ha harden the heart of Pharaoh, the grace that showcased for the Israelites wouldn't have showcased the way they came. Now, there are people, their mind are hardened. They are not ready to listen to you until they see what God can do about you or can do with you or can do in your generation. So what am I trying to say? You can't handle it when, when it takes gossip to, to, for your promotion to come. You can't handle it. When it takes gossip for you to see your rightful husband, you can't handle it. When it, when it takes backbiting for, for you to see the rightful destiny helper, you can't handle it. When it takes gossip for God to promote you, you can't handle it. When it takes gossip for God to connect you, you can't handle it. That is what you need to know. For God to promote you, there are matters you can't handle. There are cases that is being handled through, your, through gossip of men. There are promotions that is being handled through, 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 through the envy of men. There are certain connections you will not have until the envy of men arrives. There are breakthroughs that envy brings. There are connections that gossip brings. And there are, there are links that, 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 that are link that only gossip can open the doors of it. You know, there are people, when they hear the gossip of you, maybe that is how God wants them to hear about you. They can hear about your bed. They can hear about your dedication. They can hear about the job. They can hear about where yeah, you went to school, your primary school, your, your secondary school, and, 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 your, and your high institution. But the only thing that can connect them to you is only when they heard about you, maybe they heard the gossip about you. They might have few pity. They might have fell in love. They might have few. They might have feel somehow they started looking for you. I remember one of the boys I helped in life, it was true gossip. So people were gossiping him, thinking that we are destroying his name before me. But that was how his help came. God, the hand over in your hand to manage. There are things that is not within your reach to handle. There are things that is not within your power to handle. Even when you try to handle it, you are destroying it the more. When you try to explain to people, you are trying you, 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 are, you are really you are really exposing your case more. Do you know there are things that, that people said about you? You have heard it, but there are some generations that haven't heard it. There are some calibers that haven't heard it. There are some timbers and calibers. There are some politicians that haven't heard it. There are some fathers in the ministry. They haven't heard what you think that that. What's the thing that people said about you? But by the time you go to, to explain to such people, that is when you will start having problems. Now, my question is, why are you trying to explain to what? What, what, what people haven't really heard about much? You know, Bible said, the book of Luke, chapter 7, verse 33, for John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and, and you said he has a demon. You know, this place, when John the Baptist came to prepare the way of Jesus Christ, John the Baptist, he exempted himself. He avoided men. He was like, let me be holy. Let me concentrate. Let me know what I'm doing so that the world will not talk. But yet, they started calling him a demon. Why did they call him a demon? Who is that man that don't relate with men? Every time he's burning his face, he's running his face, he's, he's, he's damning people, he don't want to talk to people, he's bullshitting people anyhow, and they took that conclusion that he is a demon. They started gossiping him because of his ashes. They started gossiping him because of his characters. They started saying all manner of nonsense. Let me let you know something. People must say something about you. If you are poor, they will tell you it's the gods of your father's house. If you are rich, they will call you a ritualist. There must be a name to every level. Every level you go in life, I have a nickname, believe it or not. People must surely say something. If you are jovial, people will say something. If you are a giver, they will say that is where you obtain your destiny. If you are stingy, they will say that your occulting people tell you not to give people. That not that if you give to people, your wealth will go. Start giving to people, they will say you are buying people's destiny. Haven't you heard such before? After somebody said it about me years back when I, while I was in Bible school. Somebody, uh, not just saying it. A woman came and gave it as a prophecy. It was really shocking to me that day. Somebody came and gave a prophecy. I wasn't in the hostel. That was during my final years in Bible school. And they made it composite that every final year student must be in school. Then I choose to live inside school. In as much that they really tried for me, Reverend Candem and other people, they gave me a preference. They allowed me to come into hostel the way I feel like, with a family bed, a family phone, and other things. They gave me a good corner that gave me what I want because they knew that it wasn't easy for me to be in school. Now, when I came into school, I have that philosophy that I need to give God a good thing. You understand? Now, each time I want to give offering, I would like to give, I would like to give God an offering with mint. If I want to give offering, I give offering with mint. With mint. You know, I gave offering with mint first year, second year, third year. One day, I went, I, I traveled for a program. I wasn't around in the hostel 
For me to come back, one of my daughters that is helping me now told me what happened. That a woman came and started giving a prophecy. A giving a prophecy. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Have you asked questions? Where the mint money is coming from? Have you asked questions? Where she's getting a mint? The mint money is not from the surface. The mint money is from the marine world. It's from the ocean. It's from the sea. Why is she dashing you people mint and you are taking the mint money? Why is she not using a rumpo money? Why is she, is she not using a, an old money? All the money she spends in school is, is mint. Have you asked questions? And some people believe that rubbish. So when I came back, the people that didn't believe it come and told me that. You know, I, I, I couldn't bear that. I confronted the woman. I met that woman. I said, I heard a prophecy you gave about me. Now, wow, today is my turn. Tomorrow, I will come for a turn match. You have given your own. The woman now denied. I said, eh, I didn't just purposely did it. Somebody said it before it came through prophecy. Somebody said it and it came through prophecy. Now, what am I trying to tell you? John the Baptist came not eating, not drinking. And they said he has a demon. He is demon possessed. Now, Jesus came eating and drinking. And they said... Yeah, and they said that he, he they, they, uh, when Jesus came eating and drinking, they said he is a glutary. A weeper. A friend of tax collector. A friend of sinners. No, there is nothing to now there is nothing to defend here. If men can gossip just the parties and gossip Christ, what are you trying to protect? If you give back to one child, they will talk. Give back to ten children, I say better way more. Give back to female children, they will talk. Give back to male children, they will talk. Don't give birth at all. That is what problem will, will, will now come out. People must surely say something. You know, sometimes I begin to worry, and I'm surprised the way people worry about some cases. Ask people that knows me. When things happen around me, I will only feel the shock within a few minutes. After a few minutes, I no longer feel the shock. I keep saying it online. If gossip can slim me down, my dear, <laughs> I would have been like somebody who is having HIV without treatment. Because some HIV people are healthy presently. But God have given me that shock of something that even what they are saying is no longer affecting me. Somebody confronted me and said, do you really hear what people say about you at all? I asked like what and what? He said, I heard this one last week. I said, I heard it last year. He told me again, I heard this one last year. I said, I heard this one 10 years ago. I have heard all those things. It's only one gossip that is remaining. And I'm waiting to hear that gossip about myself. Let me tell you the gossip. I'm waiting for the day a woman will cross. They will say, child, only she pregnant this woman. That is only gossip I haven't heard. Now, I have a question to ask you. That somebody destroyed your name in Abia State and you are worried. When Abuja have not heard it. Lagos have not heard it. Kotonu have not heard it. Togo have not heard it. Why are you worried because somebody gossiped about you? They gossiped about you just in Abia State. They gossiped about you in Omaha. They gossiped about you in Owere. They gossiped about you in Enugu, Abuja or Lagos. And you are so worried about it. And you are shouting. And you are crying. Why are you worried? You can't protect it. I don't know the people that is watching me. If you are watching me, you can type it. Help me tell your enemies I need space. You can tell somebody beside you. Tell somebody beside you I need a space. But I, I create a space for miracle. You don't need a space for your gossip. Create a space for testimony. Stop creating a space for gossip. Tell your neighbor I need a space. I need a space for my miracle. I need a space for my connection. I need the space for my testimony. Gossipers, give me space. Gossipers, I need the space. Envy men, I need the space. Backbiters, I need the space. The space I need is not the space of your gossip, but I need the space of miracle. Keep gossiping, let me keep selling. Keep gossiping, let me keep growing. Keep gossiping, let me, let, 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 let me, let me keep expatiating. Why are you worried about it? The gossip, the John the Baptist, they called him a demon. They called him some names. But yet, that didn't stop John the Baptist. Why do you want to cause yourself a high BP? Just because of what people are saying. I don't know people that have been worried about people's gossip. Help me tell somebody I need a breathing space. Help me tell somebody I need a gap. I need a gap. What I'm looking for is my visa, not a gossip. I need a gap. I need a space. What I'm looking for is my connection, not a gossip. What I'm looking for is my job, not a gossip. What I'm looking for is my conception, not a gossip. What I'm looking for is all your company work. I'm looking for a contract. I'm looking for a political appointment, not a gossip. I need the space. Maybe, 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 maybe the condition you are into is trying to cause you high BP. Help me tell your neighbor, I take back my feelings. I take back my healing. I take back my feelings. I, I, I don't know what is still to be emotionally down. Help me tell somebody I, I, I retrieve my emotions. Zanana Elia Escotolebra. 
Ita ya kalibra in the bush. Are you in emotional trauma? Because of challenges. Because of what people say. Help me, help me, help me, help me retrieve your emotions. Zalibra escoto libra. Help me, help me, help me retrieve your space. Zananania escoto libra. Help me retrieve your time. Retrieve your space. Help me retrieve your emotions. I need a space. I take my emotions back. In fact, I retrieve my emotions. I take my feelings back. I retrieve my feelings. Why am I creating a space for what I cannot correct? Why should I create a space for what I cannot amend? Why should I create a space for what that did not start us from me? They gossip John the Baptist. They gossip Christ. Why are you worried? Because they gossip you. Just the male gossip, you already worry. Just the male word, you already worry. You came back to one child and so what? You didn't conceive and so what? Did they marry you to your husband? Or did they marry your wife to you? And they, they, I have something to ask. You went for an interview. You didn't get a job. You didn't get that job on that day. And, 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 you, and you were emotionally down. Have you asked yourself a question? Is, is that we are going to want me to work? The people gossip to you that you are not a graduate. And so do you need to tender your certificate to them? Did they send you to school? Did they do clearance for you? We are there in the matriculation day. We are there on the convocation day. Why are you so worried about it? I retrieve my emotions for crying out loud. Zanana Elia Escoto Lebra. Zanana Nia Indrebosha. I retrieve my emotions. Why should I feel bad because of my fellow human being? Somebody that is not feeding you. Somebody that is not helping you. Somebody that is not clothing you. Somebody that didn't send you to school. Somebody that didn't pay your school fees. And you are worried about it. I have a question to ask. Are you working for them? That place you are working, is it for them? Is the work for them? Why are you worried about it? And I have a question to ask. Have they, have they dashed you money for one day? They didn't dash you money. They, didn't go, they, they have never given you a cup of water. And you are, and you are worried about it. Even if you say the truth. Can they call a cop for you? With a cop police, can they call a cop for you? I have a question to ask. Why can't you embrace, embrace your destiny? Give your destiny a coach, a passionate heart. Manana in the bush. Zalibra in the bush. Come and type it for me. I hug, I hug my destiny. You can just type it. I, 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 I give my destiny a coach. Go back and hug your destiny. Make yourself believe that you have a destiny. Make yourself believe that you are going somewhere. I give my marriage a coach. You can do that. You can do that. So, so. Malibra in the ocean. Hug your destiny. Hug your life. Stop hugging people's gossip. People are giving gossip a hug. Some people are giving by biting a hug. How can you give a hug to gossip? When you give it a serious attention, you are giving it a hug. Go back and give your feelings a coach. Go back and give, give, give your emotions a coach. Malibra in the ocean. Somebody is chatting me on Messenger. What is coach? Passionate hug. Another person. Okay, the same person chatting me. Spelling of coach is very, very easy. Spelling of coach. <laughs> coach is talking about a path, a path. Come back online. Ask the question online. Are you ashamed of asking the question online? Why are you chatting me on Messenger? When I say give your destiny a coach, I'm talking about a passionate hug. Passionate hug. How can you hug gossip? How can you hug, hug by birthers? How can you hug people that have nothing to show? How can you hug people that cannot offer anything to your destiny? People that cannot show you anything in destiny. People that have nothing to offer. People that cannot give you anything. Your destiny is not from them. Your miracle is not from them. Why are you worried about them? Why are you worried about such people? They don't feed you. They don't help you. They don't offer you anything. Are you still serious on the spelling of coach? CW, THC, coach, passionate hug. Why can't you go back and hug your destiny? Come and type it for me. I hug my destiny. I give my destiny a coach. That simply means focus on your destiny. Give it a passion. Love your destiny than, than you love gossip. Love your connections than you love gossip. Love the job you are looking for. Love your certificate. If your NYC certificate is close to you, hold it passionately. Tell God I give my certificate a cost. Give me a, a job. Why should you give a listening ear to what people are saying? Are they your God? Bible said they said that John the baptism is a demon possessed. When Christ came, they said he's a tax collector. That he's a friend of a tax collector. A friend of a sinner. He is a weapon. A glutton onion color. They called Christ a longer throat person. Christ. Christ himself, a man who came to save, a man who came to deliver, they still gave him a name. If they can give John the Baptist a name, if they can give Christ a name, who are you that you are afraid of answering the name that people are calling you? Why wouldn't they call you a name? Why, why 
are you hugging people's gossip? You think about it today. You think about it tomorrow. You think about it next tomorrow. My dear, you don't need to think. I don't know what you have been asking God. You can hug your children. I give a hug to my children instead of people's gossip. I give a hug to my new relationship instead of the old relationship that is trying to take your head. I give my business a hug. What you hug is what you love. And what you love is what you protect. It's what you keep. Why are you trying to protect a gossip that has already gone far? Why are you trying to protect what has, what has already spread? We have said something a few days ago. And somebody said to me, because of your name. And I asked that person, do I have a name? The person laughed and laughed. But that is the truth about it. People must say something. Even if you stop the one within your reach, can you stop the one outside your reach? Why are you struggling on what you cannot settle? Why are you working on what you cannot connect? There are destinies can, that will never arrive until gossip arrives. There are destinies that can never arrive until envy matches in. There are connections that will never come until bad battles arise in that portion. Whatever it takes for God to promote you, let that thing happen for crying out loud. You may feel the best at the moment, but your testimony at last. How would you see that evidence silences every shame? I pray for you. Whatever it takes for you to meet your destiny point, may Jehovah allow that to come. And may he give you grace to conquer. Because without that, you cannot get to where you are going. The gossip you in Omaha, you are worried. The gossip you in Owere, you are worried. The gossip you in Abba, you are already worried. Why are you worried? A young man sent me a chat one day and said, Mom, I said, Mama, do you know why I like watching your programs online? I use it to console myself because of what people are saying about me. And I asked him, what is people saying about you? He mentioned it. He said, this is my sickness. I spend money. My members in the ministry will tell you. Some friends will tell you. And I asked the young man, what is your problem? He said, he has a goiter. Not only that. Not only that. He mentioned three things. We turn your bunoko. And I said, okay. If you are telling me the truth, I would like to speak to your king, his royal highness. He went, I spoke with the king. I haven't seen him even till now. I will only see him the day I will, I, I will go to visit him because he's back from hospital. I spoke with the king and the king, he confirmed that that young man is having such problem. He said, I watch your program to console myself because everybody, everybody runs from me because of the challenges I'm having. I conducted his surgery. Somebody gave me money to use it for the slim of my church. But after prayers, God said to me, use it for his case. I don't have option. I use it for surgery. That surgeon took me one point something million. My members is away. Because I sent people to go. I haven't been there by myself. But the goita, me, Biobu, and the problem. Because the problem, you know, the wound have lasted for a long time. Doctor, when they went to hospital, I spoke with the doctor. Doctor said there are some, there are some injections, that antibiotics that have, they have to place in before doing anything about it. I spent a million plus. He only watched the program just to console himself because of what he's passing through. Why should you allow people's emotion to kill your emotion? Why, people, why should you allow people's opinion to, to weigh you down emotionally? I have suffered it then, not now. I have built my mind to a point, if you want it to settle it now, we'll settle it now. If you say that settling it now will not bring a solution, wait for me, wait for my midnight prayers. Why are you worried? I pray for you. Anything taking your joy, taking your peace, taking your happiness. May Jehovah silence them for you in the name of Jesus. I wonder why people are disturbing me. Even when I posted pre information for this program. So people will read it and, and they are still busy chatting me. You didn't get me online. Why disturbing me when I'm online? You expect me to log out and start explaining things to you. Does it work that way? That people gossip you within. Don't have anything to do with your future outside. What if they gossip in Nigeria your destiny is in the US? And you are struggling to amend your name here in Nigeria. Who are you men amending it for? By the time grace will take you to US and bring you back, their opinion will change. They destroyed your name only just in this state. State gossip is driving you crazy. What about federal gossip? What will it do to you? What about an internet gossip? They only use math to destroy your name. You are fainting. Your name haven't gone online. You are fainting. Bloggers have not carried your story. You have slumped. Your name has not been on the headline. You have, your burial is close. Don't you know that the higher they gossip you, the greater you become? There are people that cannot be a follower on your Facebook wall or page until the day they will hear your gossip. I know one, of, I, I, I know one or two ladies 
who came on like say you rubbish sometime with the song they sang another things from 3,000 followers go to her wall 40 something thousand followers people that came to know who who did that rubbish we are the people that started following why are you blocking the access to your connection because as far as i'm concerned you are a believer you praise and god allow people to gossip you to me is a step one of your connection he allow people to fight you that is a step two of your connection he allows them to go to native doctor yet you are still pretty step three of your connection why are you so worried about it people are bragging of what they did to you and you are worried what for are they your god did they create you did they you were born where they there did they help your father to pregnant your mother we are there the one holding the torch for your father maybe even that day your mother and your father didn't even use light then why are you worried a conception that took in a hidden place they didn't throw a torch light to your father neither did they go to labor room with your mother i have a question to ask did they bet you for one day my question is did they breastfeed you did they pamper you to sleep why are you giving a listening ear to what they are saying if men can gossip christ if men can gossip john the baptist who are you that you are afraid of gossip what you fear is what comes to you my dear you better prepare your mind that's why i said i take my emotions i withdraw my emotions from where i kept it to them in fact my emotions is no longer kept for my enemies i take it back why are you worried somebody told me sometime the other time she claims to be a daughter as well she came to my house she brought out her phone to show me what she regarded about me where people were gossiping i called her i said do you love me she said yes i said please i have a i don't need this tape she was shocked i know why i told her that number one i must think about it for a few minutes what if that is when a message of some people are coming to me the one I heard is the one God wants me to hear. But that favor you do to me to record people's gossip and bring to me, I say, save me such gossip. That strength she used to do, she would have used it and pray for me. I don't think that man can die if God didn't permit it. If God didn't want them to gossip me, he would have stopped them. As if I knew, I told her I don't need that gossip. One of the programs I have, I, I'm, I'm about, I will go on, on April, I, I have booked that program. Do you know it is through that gossip that that program was booked? After all that gossip, a young man, a young man now went back and told his senior pastor, that lady who made mention, I heard people we are discussing about her. Exactly what you said is what they said. Did you get her number? He said no. He came back to school, he returned back to this Bible school and collected my number from the same gossipers. They have booked me for a program. Had even that that gossip didn't come, he wouldn't have heard my story. And he wouldn't have extended the story to the to the, to his mentor because he said that the mentor told him that story that people said, but from from afar that he had gathered that what they said about me is not true. God bless the gossipers. That's why I will always say, I don't know if Joseph really gave the wife of Patina, the wife of Potiphar a cow, because had it been that that woman didn't accuse Joseph, Joseph wouldn't have gone to prisons. He wouldn't have been to prison, and that dream wouldn't have come. He wouldn't have had the opportunity of interpreting the dream of the king. And he wouldn't have been a prime minister. So for Joseph to grow in life, Potiphar's wife was one of the steps, stepping stones for her growth, for his growth. That simply means he needed to give her a cow for helping him to grow. In as much he helped him through a negative way. All you need is grace to take you where you are going to. What people are saying cannot stop what God has prepared. Men can stop men. Men can stop him, but no man can stop God from giving you a testimony. Don't let the step gossip distract you. There is still an international connection. There is still a federal connection. Don't let a village gossip to weigh you down. There is still a township connection. Don't let the township connection to weigh you down, the state connection, to the state gossip. There is still a federal connection. Don't let the federal connection, federal gossip to weigh you down. There is still an international connection. Rows of abroad have not closed yet. You cry Monday, you cry Tuesday. I didn't say don't cry, you are a human. But give it attention for a few minutes. I bought that gossip and move your way. They are not your God. I believe that we are the leg of a man cannot step, is only where God did not prepare for him.
Gossip can only delay it for a while. And, and gossip is delaying you. Grace is preparing you as well. To me, the delayers of gossip is the preparation of grace. I don't know about you. I pray for you. Wherever they deny you through their gossip. Connection they deprive you through their bad. I pray for you. May heaven take you to the next point in the name of Jesus. Help me tell your neighbor I can't stop here. Tell your neighbor I can't waste my time again. Help me type it. No time to waste. Help me type it. I can't waste my time again. Help me tell somebody I can't stop here. Help me tell yourself they can't stop me. Gossipers can't stop you. Then I got deep, I can't stop you for crying out loud. Even the foundation you lay, they can't stop it. Their manipulation is for a while, not forever. Their enchantments is for a while, not forever. Their gossip is for a while, not forever. Why are you worried? It looks as if they closed your business, you are worried. I see grace opening that business again in the name of Jesus. It looks as if they close your source of finance. My God is opening the doors of that finance again in the name of Jesus. Their mind is not the mind of God. Even if they destroy your name here in Nigeria, God is still open. Wait. If they destroy your name in the shrine, there is an altar that can retrieve your name. Wherever they destroyed your name, in their shrine, in their, in their negative altars, I see grace in the positive altar retrieving your destiny to you. Congratulations for altars speaking in your behalf. They have the right to destroy it temporarily. They don't have the they don't have the right to destroy it permanently. That is a grace that is shading you permanently. They are not your God. If they destroy it in Nigeria, you still have grace in abroad. You can still retrieve it. They can't stop what God has started. Even if they destroy it, the whole world, heaven is still real. Even if they destroy your name in the whole world. Heaven have not said it yet. Why worried? When God is the state capital. Of destiny. God is still the headquarter. Of destiny. God is still the control general. Of destiny. Shrine cannot intimidate him. Authors cannot stop him. Manipulations cannot stop him. You saw your name in internet. You are worried. Just a little mistake and you are worried. Just a little challenge you are worried. No man can change what God planned. No man can kill a man who God has not altered his death or her death. No man can kill a woman who God has already written the date of his or her death. Let me tell you something. Hear me and hear me clear. It doesn't matter what they gossip about you, but they are not your God. Hear me? Even there you are working may still be a temporary place. If may have blocked your space in Nigeria, create a space in abroad with prayers. If they have blocked your space in the state, I declare may heaven create a space for you in the federal. A state worker? They are killing you with their gossip? I pray for federal work grace. A federal work, a federal, a federal work, a federal worker? They're already gossiping you, trying to throw you away. May Jehovah create a space in all you sector for you. Even in all you sector. They want to slaughter you. May heaven create an international connection for you. I'm very sure that your gossip cannot stop you. I'm very sure that your backbatters cannot stop you. I'm very sure that their envy cannot stop you. I'm even convinced that their manipulations cannot stop you. Does it look as if the manipulation is affecting you? I pray for you now. In fact, I'm settling that matter for you. Every manipulation affecting you from the shura and the altars of your enemies. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Why are you worried? The man that's supposed to connect you refused to connect you because of what he had. A woman was supposed to help you refused to help you because of what she had. Gossip has heard your name and your blog has carried you to the internet. I don't have a problem with that. But one thing I'm sure of. When grace settles your matter, the bloggers will be forced to change their topic, their headline, their write-ups. When grace arrives, internet will change their logo. 
When grass speaks, the same blogger who say negative about you will say good things about you. God is still the capital. It's still the general capital, federal capital, national capital, worldwide capital of wealth, of destiny, of connections, of deliverance, of liberation. Why try to protect what God has already settled in you, for you? Why try to defend a name that you cannot defend? If you defend your name before people are not the word about people that is far from you, allow God. A minute is enough for God to revise things. All you need is grace for reversion. Grace for retrievement. All you need is for grace to endorse you. If grace endorse you, your business will have a breakthrough. If grace endorse you, bloggers will change their headline. They will change their topic. If grace endorse you, your enemies will start posting you. When grace endorse you, haters will start celebrating you. When grace endorse you, enemies will become your number one fans. When grace endorse you, those that went to Nathan Doctor will confess. When grace endorse you, your connections will come with that stress. When grace endorse you, destiny helpers will appear. When grace endorse you, those that refuse to call you will start calling you. When grace endorse you, you will ask for one child and God will give you three plagues. I pray for you. Heavenly induction. Grace is endorsing you right away. Favor of God. In fact, I see you becoming an ambassador of grace. Zanana Elia Escoto Lebra. In the Bosha Nana in Daya Calibra. Zanana Escoto in the Bosha. Lipa Pasun Daya Calibra. Zanana in Daya Calibra in the Bosha. I declare you an ambassador of testimonies. I declare you ambassador of grace. Ambassador of connections. Ambassador of miracles. Ambassador of connections. I see God making your house his residential address on earth. Who told you that the people can stop you? Did you already hear the song I played on the background before I started? I think you need to hear it again. Another Kusri Jehovah. I had a man behind me. I did a cousin. Nobody. No, he man. He only man behind me. I did a cousin. Zalanania. Zalanese. You cannot teach the Lord what to do. The what makes you believe that your enemy can teach God what to do in your destiny? No need of trying to protect. Hand it over. He knows how to ratify your case. Bible said, John the Baptist came. They said he has a demon spirit because he wasn't eating. Jesus came. They called him. A friend of a tax collector. Hey, we Baba. Do you know what they call him? Oh, yeah, Barry. Christ. A glutory. Oh, yeah, Barry. Hey, we Baba. A task of a friend of tax collector. But verse 35 says, But wisdom is justified by her children. Number one wisdom I want you to buy. Retrieve your emotions from the hand of your enemies. your emotions by giving attention of their gossip God, giving attention to their gossip giving attention of what they gossiped about, about you withdraw your emotions flush them out of your space create a space for connections and miracles 
Create a space for testimony. Create a space for miracles. Don't let what people are saying affect your life. Your life is your own for crying out loud, not their own. Your business is your own. First God, not them. Grace have not finished. Grace is still available. I don't know people that are emotionally wounded. Trauma is affecting them. I would like to pray for you for a few minutes. Wisdom. Wisdom is profitable for his children. I really believe if 20 persons are watching me, 18 or 19 have been wounded emotionally. It's either because of their business challenges. We they knew that something is behind it. It might be because of their pregnancy, their marriage. Because of their admission, the job they are looking for. One thing or the other might have caused a man to be wounded emotionally. Maybe health challenge has given you an emotional trauma. I come to another that will settle that emotional trauma. I don't know if somebody is ready to settle emotional challenges. I don't know if you are ready to settle your emotional problems. Maybe lack of finance have caused you an emotional issues. People's gossip and bye have caused you an emotional trauma. Challenges you are having in business have caused you an emotional challenges. Some are running BP because of it. Some can no longer walk in the street boldly. Some are thinking where your challenges came from is not where you expected. Maybe it came from your best friend. It came from your husband or wife. It came from your uncle you didn't believe that can go to shrine for you. Where it came from is where you didn't believe. When you think when I come to my village and my home, you come to village that their, their, their manipulations have started. Who wounded your emotions? Who affected your emotions? Who put in emotional trauma? I have a God that can settle your matter. Zalebra esco to lebra. Some are passing through emotional traumas. Because of when they graduated. Two years of graduate of, 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 of youth service. Three years of finishing NYC. Five years of youth service. After it's no job. Carry certificate around with their job. Being an applicant are giving some people emotional challenges. Barriness have given some people emotional challenges. Business st stagnancy have given some people emotional trauma. Financial challenges have become an emotional trauma to people. What are you passing through? I declare for divine settlement. Zalebra in the bush. Who wounded your emotions? What affected your emotions? What put in emotional trauma? I pray for you. May grace say to your mother. May grace say to your case. I pray with you. No man can heal your emotional issues if not God. No man can restore it if not God. I pray for you. I pray with you. Zalala Wherever the wound came from. The source of your emotional trauma. May Jehovah settle this journey. Thank you for joining. Your first time of joining from Lagos, you're welcome. We are settling matters. I pray for you. I pray with you. In your business, may Jehovah settle you. Maritally, academically, in your importation, in your transactions, in your health, in that your foundation. Any angle you have been expecting God, I declare grace to settle your matters. Whatsoever that puts you in emotional stress, you will look around, you will not see it. Manana As the month of March is coming to an end, may Jehovah end every emotional stress around you. 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 Thou emotional stress. 
No matter the source, no matter the cause. May Jehovah settle it for you, for me, in the name of Jesus. Was any condition causing you emotional stress? I declare testimony. I declare solution. I declare connections. I declare breakthroughs. I declare, I declare, may heaven ratify your case. When grace speaks for you, bloggers will change their team. They will change their topic. They will change their headline. They will change their right tops. When grace speaks for you, enemies becomes your fans for your destiny, for your connections, for your business, for your companies. I declare grace. I declare favor. I declare testimonies. I declare miracles. As you sleep tonight, you wake up with us in that challenge. As you sleep tonight, you wake up with your mind being relieved, being settled. I pray for you. Let the God of March say to you. Let the grace of April say to your matter. Those that saw you last December will never see you that way this December. I decree that man will be too far for God to create some things for you. The recreation of destiny has started around you. Recreation of transaction, business, connections, contracts have started. I declare that grace in the name of Jesus. I decree emotionally healed. I declare you emotionally healed. I declare you emotionally healed. I declare you emotionally healed. Every emotional trauma will settle you today. I declare grace of God. May heaven grant you a good job for me. May he grant you a good husband for me. May he give you good children for me. May he give you good connections for me. May he give your father's house a good deliverance, a good liberation, a good connection, good contract. I declare wealth. I declare divine open doors. That uncompleted video will be completed this year. That person crying God. You can't drive one car and sell that car 2019 without having another car. I declare money for your car. In the name of Jesus. There is somebody watching me. You are having an eye problem. I declare that eye problem healed in the name of Jesus. There is a woman watching me. The last car your husband drove was 2019. You people sold it. Till now, no car. And you are having challenges with the six children. Taking them around. May heaven provide another car for your family. In the name of Jesus. There is somebody watching me. You have a land case in Abba. I decree. May God settle that land case for you in the name of Jesus. There is somebody watching me here. You have a tenant in nobody that is giving you people serious problem. He doesn't pay. He don't want to pack out. Today, I give that person a spiritual quick notice. In the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. There is somebody that will watch this program. When you watch it, take your prophecy. Because I hear God saying, somebody is on the way. There is somebody who watch this program later. You have a son of six years who have not spoken since, his, since the birth of that boy. His name is Shimobi. I decree, I declare. Let the tongue of that boy open and speak. Let the lips open. Let the tongue move. I declare him speak in the name of Jesus. There is a man watching me. Your last child is a secular. I pray for that child. By this time next week, take that child to hospital on Tuesday. From SS to AS or from SS to AA. Make your choice and God will grant it that. In the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. I hear you. There is somebody watching me. You are having a problem in your new car. I declare your new healed in the name of Jesus. There is somebody watching me. You are having a problem below your abdomen. No, Ura, for below your abdomen. Below your abdomen. You are having a severe pain since four days now. Check the pain. The pain is vacating. The pain is leaving right away. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. There is a young man watching me. You tender. You tender. You, you, you tender some quotations. You are an electrician, in a normal electrician. You send that a yes, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Total total money you wrote in what you tender is about four point something million, and you are afraid if you get that job. There are people that gave lesser. There are people that gave higher. But I decree because of your pregnant wife, I release that job to you in the name of Jesus. Yes sir. There is a young lady watching me. Your fiance call off a wedding on November. Because of gossip. And he came back to bed. You said no. He is your husband. If you lose him. You have lost your husband. You better quit from the present guy. You are dealing with called Kinsley. Return back to Tony. He didn't know what he did. That is your husband. Any pastor that gave you a prophecy. Is not your husband. That's why he left. He's a liar. He's a manipulation of your stepmother. Which is comfort. That led Tony to leave. Please quit from Kins. Go back to Tony. That is your husband. Yes sir. I hear you sir. There is a young man, there is a young man watching me. Somebody used a kitchen seat. Hear me? The day you photocopied your international passport, 
Somebody used the kitchen seat and placed the international passport on the kitchen seat. That's why he didn't further taking you to abroad. And that's why he didn't make any effort giving you a job. The condition is any day the seat is lifted up, a good job will come. And lift up that seat, come and receive a good job in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. I hear you, sir. There is a young lady watching me. Your marriage is three years and few months. You have not conceived. God said that I should tell you that he's giving you twin baby boys. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. There is a young lady watching me. You did your traditional marriage on the 28th December last year. Somebody pick a son. Since after your traditional marriage, you saw your message on January yeah, about 10 days. You saw your message on February yeah, about 10 days. Now you are miserating. You are on the eighth day. What can I achieve about 10 days instead of four, four days? I revive and I retrieve whatever they did in the name of Jesus. I revive your womb for conception. And I shorten the days of that miseration in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is a young lady watching me. Your elder brother lives in the north. Your left uncle did the manipulation. Oh, your cook up Hanoya. Tired your cook on Imoya. Any day that hand comes back, that is the day his total wealth to come will come back. That's why Unu made family meeting. He will give a listening ear. But once he returns back, he will no longer give a listening ear to family problem. I settle it right now in the name of Jesus. There is a young lady watching me. Your brother that is in abroad have been having serious problem. Serious stress. He can't make wealth. He struggles with an achievement. I decree, I declare. Let the destiny of your brother Frank be released in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, sir. I hear you, sir. There is a woman listening to me. Somebody tying your three sons on the tree. Yes, sir. The person carved the stick and, and give those sticks the name of your sons and tie them on the tree. I pray for you. That's why, in everything you are imparting in those little children, no knowledge, no wisdom. They keep going back academically. I restore their wisdom in the name of Jesus. There is a woman watching me. A strange woman is trying to take your husband away from you. And you are under calling. Your husband has not given you a British spirit to face your calling squarely. I pray for you. May God open his eyes to see your grace. And I sack a strange woman out of your marriage. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, sir. I see heaven opening for everybody. I pray for grace. I pray for favor. I pray for testimony. I pray for connection. Who is this person that your brother is in prison yard in overseas? I release him from prison yard right now with prayers. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. There is a woman watching me. Your, your husband is having problems with his business in overseas. He's also having problems with his papers. I release his papers in the name of Jesus and I lose business breakthrough in the name of Jesus. There is a young lady watching me. You have three daughters. You need a male child. Your next conception will give you two male children. Congratulations. Go and carry your children in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is a young lady watching me. Your mom has been on the bed of stroke for some time. Pick water, if water is close to you, such as water, bottle water. You are in the city, your mother is in the village, no problem. Drink that water in, his beha in her behalf, her healing will come. I bless that water. As you drink, let there be healing upon your mom. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Every family altar against your family is consumed. Manipulations are destroyed. Enchantments are destroyed. There are three persons watching me. Two is waiting for an interview. Interview for visa. Somebody is waiting for visa. I see three visas being released. Come on, congratulations in advance. In Jesus' name. Three persons are receiving visa right away. That interview will favor you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are blessed above measure. May God bless you. May grace be for you. May destiny work for you. It is well with you. God bless you. 
God bless you. Grace, I speak forth upon you. In Jesus' name, I bless you. All that followed me and all that watch it. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. I remain your sister, Reverend Oluchi Precious Khan. In case you want to join this program, if you watch it from YouTube, you can log in with the name Oluchi Uzakle at Martin of Change Ministries. Oluchi Uzakle at Martin of Change Ministries. Once you log in, you will join us live every Monday by 10.30. Every Thursday is by 10.30, but for now, we haven't started on our Thursday programs. Any day we'll start it, I'll post it online as well. But Monday programs is by 10.30. 10.30 p.m., not a.m. God bless you. Thank you for following. Thank you for watching. You are blessed and you are lifted. In Jesus' name I pray with you. Amen and amen. Meet you on Thursday or on Monday. God bless you.